Oh, you're back. Oh, you're back. And I need to turn this off. Okay. Thought you said it was going to be too late for you, or did you read the time wrong? going to go live on Instagram as well to see mm -mm -mm -mm. okay thought that more people would be on YouTube today since it's uh, Saturday but let's see I... hmm nope live Okay, now I am live on, ugh, right, I forgot that <sighs> Instagram is um, vertical, which kind of sucks. Okay, maybe I can do this instead. Stan, join me on uh, YouTube. You know better than that. <laughs> All right, I'm moving this just a tad. Okay. So... We have one week until Halloween, everyone, and that means that um, I will be live streaming around this time in full costume. Right now we have three people who are kind of in the top running for my Halloween costume contest, and I'm really excited to share that with you all. So uh, join me for that on my YouTube channel next week. Oh, Bill is joining me on YouTube. Nice to see you, Bill. It's been a while. Hello, JJ on YouTube as well. You guys on Instagram, join me on YouTube. It has better quality. My face is blown out because <laughs> it's a very old phone and I uh, just have better resolution. My YouTube is Domina Mara. Just look me up and I should pop up. Bill says I miss you so much. Yes, I miss you purchasing my pantyhose. <laughs> Uh, and all my other goodies. So, let's see if I could put something up in the background while we speak. Because I would like a little bit of music today. It's rare for me to put music, actually, because I like to talk to you guys just like this. You love the look. Thank you, Trip Sky. Or is it Tripsky? Not sure. Also, I don't know if you're Luffy or Luffy. Stan, great. You are on YouTube now. How are you, by the way? I'm doing great. I just wanted to jump on to say hi to everybody before my next um, live stream on Halloween. 
Bill says, still have all those pics you sent me and other items. Kisses all over your beautiful self. Fantastic. I hope you're treating my items well. Luffy says Luffy. Is it Luffy or Luffy? <laughs> A lot of people popping in and out on Instagram. Stan, I'm tired. I just had a glass of wine. <laughs> I had two bottle or I had a full bottle of wine to myself yesterday. Man, this this lockdown is not being very good for my liver. <laughs> not at all. Hello, Mario. I'm doing well. I appreciate you joining my stream. Today's kind of a little bit more chill. It's very overcast outside, which is why it's very bright and I am able to be lit naturally from the outside through my window. Luffy asks, do you have boots, mistress? Of course I have boots. You can look at part of my collection on my footwear ASMR. That's on my channel. I have a whole playlist dedicated to ASMR. It is my number one or number two. I think it's my second most popular video on there. So look out for that. And let me just see if I can grab music because let's see. Okay. Yeah, maybe that's a little distracting. This is free music, so let's turn that down. Okay. Luffy says, yes, I looked at the video. The video is perfect, mistress. Thank you. Feel free to watch it again. Hello on Instagram. Stan says you look great today, by the way. Thank you. Today is like a precursor to dressing up for Halloween. Okay, is the music distracting? <laughs> I uh, originally turned it on as something in the background, but maybe I should lower it. There. Okay. That might be better. Igor on Instagram says, I love your feet. Thank you. On YouTube, you can tip me so I can show my feet. I showed it two live streams ago. It seemed to do very well. So, yeah. What is everyone up to? Seems like people are very busy today, even though it's a weekend, start of the weekend. Luffy says my favorite video for the channel is the gloves. Very, very perfect. I had fun making that one. And unfortunately, they just age restricted it for some reason. I don't get it. I'm literally putting on <laughs> leather gloves in front of a camera sitting down, so I don't understand. Well, everyone who is on my YouTube channel, I have an assignment for you. Go through all of my videos and give it a thumbs up so that it becomes more visible because I wanna share my creations with everybody else. And to do that, they have to be able to see it. And to see it, algorithms have to see the thumbs up. Oh, hello, Graham. Greetings to the most gorgeous goddess. What time of day is it here? It is 2.30 p.m. Afternoon. <laughs> I'm guessing it is evening where you are.
Fernando on Instagram said Hermosa earlier and you are so beautiful. Thank you. Remy says, yes, mistress, I will like all of your videos. Good, all of them, including the live stream ones because the live stream ones count too. Stan says, cool, I'm gonna dress up as Augustus on Halloween. I'm such a history nerd, love it, do it. Luffy asks, how many pairs of gloves do you have? Is it possible to see your favorite? Uh, my current favorite is one of the lace ones that's in the video and next week during my Halloween contest, uh, people can tip me to change out part of my outfit after a certain time to, uh, for me to put certain things on. So like if you tipped me a minimum of $25, then I would change it out for you on live, on camera. How many pairs of gloves though? I don't know, I haven't really counted, but my glove video is two thirds, so I would div I would divide it by, I would divide the number <laughs> by two and then add to that number to kind of get, you know, an approximation. Graham says, oh, <laughs> yay, it is night. Oh, it's not too late there, not yet. 10.30? Mm. A good evening to you too. <laughs> Anything interesting happening in the world? Stan says, check out the new series on Netflix. It's called Barbarians. It's about when the Romans are gonna invade Germania, modern day Germany. It's really cool. They speak classical Latin in it. Huh. Very interesting. Interesting. I'm guessing that's what you're watching. <laughs> Ha ha ha, yes. Um, well, if you guys haven't watched uh, my video already, I just put out my Europe tour. Um, we uh, premiered it at 1 p.m., so about an hour ago, a little over an hour ago, and um, it's a really good one. I really miss traveling, so. Luffy says, Okay, mistress, thank you very much for your answer. On your site, you wear the whole black outfit. What is it called? Thank you for doing this live for Halloween, mistress. No, next week I'm doing a super Halloween one. Like I'm dressing up even more for that. This is just like a flavor of what you would get for next week. Um, I'm not sure what black outfit you're talking about. Is it the skull one? Like the one that I look like a skeleton? Uh, Graham says, sounds like my kind of show. <laughs> Stan says, Roma Invicta. Hmm. All right, I'm ending my live stream on Instagram because very, very dead over there. Let's try third eye. Hello. Nice to see you. All right, I'm going to try streaming uh, on Twitch and seeing how that goes.
I've only done it like a few times, but let's see. Selecting a category. Just chatting. Okay. Yay. Now I'm on live stream on Twitch. And alrighty. <laughs> Remy says, right mistress with a capital M. Yes, any titles? Please capitalize, make the effort. It's just an extra button on your keyboard. Graham says, I would be on the barbarian side, naturally. <laughs> Luffy says, the black master outfit may be in leather. Love all your outfits. You are the best mistress in the world. Thank you for your mistress answers. Capitalize the M, Luffy. Stan says, it's a little funny Latin quote. It means unconquered Rome, but like sick transit Gloria Mundi is cooler, but you need to use it in the right setting. It means thou passes all the glory of the world. I only understood Gloria and world, uh, Mundi, because Mundo is Mundo is world in Spanish, which is pretty close. says, I'm sure that mistress would look equally exquisite in leather or satin. I actually have a photo of me in satin on Twitter somewhere. Um, and then I also am in a leather dress in my ASMR gloves, my glove collection. At the end, I stand up and you can see my full dress. Luffy says, thank you very much, mistress. A great video to make will be on all your domination outfits. I would love to watch it if it comes out, mistress. I have an idea for that, but there's also a lot, cause like you can interchange like corsets and bralettes and pants and skirts. So it's kind of gonna be like an endless cycle of things. <laughs> Third eye, did you already show your entire outfit tonight? No, I did not. I'm kind of just in comfy clothes. <laughs> Graham says, sounds divine, ma'am. Yes, you should watch it if you haven't already. Kerr says, good day, mistress. Good day to you too. Today is gonna be very chill. Well, it's always chill with me. <laughs> um, but yes, precursor to Halloween, which is why I'm wearing the lace cat ears and the lace uh, around my neck as a way to kind of, you know, make it a little festive for next week. I'm super excited. I had so many things coming in the mail next week. 
uh, for that stream. So that's going to be so, so, so fun. You need to come back because uh, it's going to be so good. And then let's see the following week. I have a collaboration coming up. I've actually received their products like in July, but we had so many back and forths because they are in Japan. And so I wasn't able to coordinate very well with them. So yeah. Uh, Luffy says, catsuit is perfect outfit for a domination. Mistress, I like the catsuit leather and latex. Is it possible to see it? Um, as I mentioned, next week you can tip me to change into other outfits. But uh, this week is, oh, thank you, Third Eye, for the tip. Third Eye just tipped me $5. He says, I can tell you just crossed your sexy legs. <laughs> um, I, no, I'm, I'm sitting with one leg up and one leg, like, how do you, like, parallel to my seat. <laughs> so, what what is the tip for? Graham says, my best friend had an extensive leather wardrobe. Now that her daughter has grown up, she's borrowed a lot of it permanently, following in her mother's footsteps. Oh, yay! That's the best if you're like, if your previous family members have had certain things. I love going clothing shopping in my, in my family's <laughs> closets because they have some really nice things. Oh, no. Okay, I need battery. Uh, on my thing. Or you can join me on YouTube instead because I can't do anything about the exposure on my old phone. Um, Stan, I can't put that on my chat, unfortunately. But thank you for the note. <laughs> Third Eye says the tip is just for spending time. Oh, thank you. Hello, Whizzler on Twitch. Kerr says, what is your view on FLR 24-7? I think it would be awesome if it like really truly exists i think people can like people fantasize a lot about that but they're not able to actually hold that you know 24 7 and that's why they have to go see people you know on a regular basis so that they have it but it's not every day for them because they have their daily lives to go through and sometimes it gets overwhelming for them. So FLR becomes, you know, a little too much for most people, but it is a reality for some people. Some of my colleagues are married to uh, their subordinates. So on Twitch, Somebody is asking, do you do FinDom? Yes, I do. You can apply through dominamara.com for more information. Back to YouTube. Graham says, indeed, ma'am. She's a punk goth biker and performer professional. Very cool. Kerr says, like, if one has a dominant wife, for example, or a dominant as a wife, yes, that's correct. Jose says, would you enjoy forcing an athletic sub to exercise, like doing squats? Yes, I've actually done fitness programs for people who wanted to lose weight, um, especially, you know, if they've been kind of heavy for a while and they want to be put in a situation where somebody can monitor that. I've had them log certain things 
of like what they ate that day, what their exercises were that day, and uh, they had to report to me at the end of the week. So they would do it five to seven days of the week, ideally seven, because that way I know that, you know, there's no cheat that day, there's no nothing unless that was negotiated prior. So. And people should just exercise because it's healthy, you know? Like, I need to do more of that. <laughs> Luffy is asking, have you had any strange requests from a session? Hmm. I'm sure there is, but I can't really think of any at the moment because I mean, I'm so used to people asking for weird things that I'm just kind of like, eh, okay. <laughs> uh, Kur, Kur asks, are your subs going through the Locktober? Um, some of them, yes. Others, they can't right now because obviously we're also in lockdown still. Um, well, those of us who are being responsible, you know, are at home, so they're with family all the time. And unfortunately, they cannot do that. Um, so it's kind of like 50-50. Graham says, I find that sword fighting in chain mail keeps me fit. <laughs> Anything in chain mail would keep you fit. That thing's heavy. It's at least like 50 pounds, isn't it? Depending on the size of the, of each chain determines the weight of the metal. Also swinging around any sort is probably going to work a lot of back muscles and biceps and whatnot. Just make sure you're doing it in the correct form. <laughs> What were you all doing before you logged on to YouTube today? I am getting people from all over the world on my YouTube channel, at least. Graham says, exactly so. I did it for a living for 16 years. Were you in some sort of festival? Like kind of a medieval times thing? Or, or were you a performer? I'm curious. That's a very unique job. Curious Kerr says, I was watching UFC. Oh, I hope it was a, a fun fight <laughs> or fun fights that, that were happening. Speedo says, Hema? H-E-M-A. I'm not familiar with the analogy or the acronym. Luffy, mistress, do you dominate women or even a couple because me and my wife would like to try the experience with a talented person like you? Yes, I do. I have, I actually have a female sub in Texas and we do remote sessions. Um, and then I, let's see. I used to have one here in LA. Um, and then I have friends who are also uh, female subs. Um, I do couple coaching and yes, I do also play with couples. You can find that information on my website at dominamara.com. Remy says I was having dinner. Ooh, what were you eating? Kerr says, yes, mistress, very good fights. Fantastic, that's what it's for, the entertainment. Graham says, yes, I started doing it as a hobby, then self-employed, working in schools and museums. Ooh, museums would be such a fun gig. Oh my goodness, I love museums. As you can tell from our <laughs> conversations about history, I often went to museums when I was able to walk around in different cities. Speedo says HEMA is European fighting like knights dressing in plate armor and swords. That's so cool. Very cool. 
But like, do you do it in like an, in an arena? Is this like a, I'm still confused as to like where you do this. Is it a festival? Kerr says, any unpleasant experience from any session? Yes. Um, there are just certain people that like to push certain buttons and they can kind of disguise that during playtime. And it's, it's like, there's a very fine line between like pushing it because you're kind of in a role and role playing something. And then there's, <sighs> There's pushing buttons because you know that it's going to get the person mad. And I really am not into that. Usually if that happens, I probably do not play with that person ever again. It's very rare, but because I already know what type of people, you know, are going into session with me through their emails and how they write to me and the effort that they put into presenting themselves. So I think that's kind of it. Uh, Luffy said, oh, one more thing. I also had somebody who would like try to offer me more money to do things that I already was uncomfortable with. And I was like, that's super disrespectful. Like I'm not the type to just take extra cash just because you want to have something fulfilled and I don't want to do it. <laughs> like, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, Luffy says, thank you very much for your mistress for your answer. We will fill out your form for this session. Is it possible not to be filmed for anonymity? Of course, uh, filming is optional, honestly. Like if you want to be filmed, that's something that we can talk about. And I actually, um, you know, every person is confidential. I, I always keep people's privacy, um, but if they do want to be filmed, I actually prioritize them because I get to put that on my online stores. Spiros. It's something like exploring ancient European martial arts and they exist in some schools and big teams of countries fighting in the arenas. That's so freaking cool. How come we don't have that kind of stuff here in the US? The US? I feel like, I mean, they have the festivals like Renaissance Fair and like medieval times where there's, you know, jousting and then you can be brought back in time to kind of experience how it was like, but it's not the same necessarily. Uh, Third Eye says, I'm so novice in femdom. You're not novice at all. I mean, you might be like inexperienced, but thank you for the tip again. Third Eye has tipped another $5 on YouTube. Graham, ah, H-E-M-A sounds interesting. Our most regular client was a museum in York. In recent years, I've done it with other reenactors at various sites, my favorite being an outdoor Anglo-Saxon village. Very cool. So it's kind of like LARP. It's kind of like live action role-playing, but like, yeah, reenactment too, and more serious. And it's not a fantasy world, it's like, based off of real history. Kerr says, how do you see femdom growing or is it ex its acceptance aside from just a kink? Um, it's growing because more and more people are becoming involved in it. Uh, I think also with the, um, you know, Fifty Shades being a huge hit, uh, a lot more people have accepted that it is, you know, um, it can range from like a hobby to an actual lifestyle. So, you know, I think people are starting to kind of get it. And then a lot more um, female doms are creating content uh, like myself, videos on my travels, um, my own art, like self portraits that kind of help spread, you know, a visual interest of what is happening in our in our in our minds in our lives so people are being exposed to it and i think it's becoming more and more acceptable graham says i also do storytelling and poetry at dark ages events Ooh, i love that 
Uh, Paula says, what is the average scene for a very passable cross-dresser who knows she's hot and what would you do to her? You should watch my short film, Transform, on my YouTube channel. That is all about that. And I can't really go into much detail on uh, YouTube Live, but you have an imagination. I'm sure you can figure it out. Luffy says, thank you very much, mistress, for your professionalism. This is what we are looking for. So for us, you are the perfect dominatrix. Thank you. You're welcome. Graham says, yes, indeed. Two of my helmets are worth 3,000 pounds each. Holy, are they like from real knights? <laughs> Why is it so expensive? Or is it because it's also custom fit for your head and your, obviously, your body? Um, Third Eye says, what do you want to improve the most on your body? Like if I could, like, is this like a, a enhancement or, or like if I could change anything? I mean, honestly, I would like to be taller. <laughs> that's, that's kind of number one. Also, my eyes are really crap. I would love to have 2020 vision for the rest of my life because I'm so tired of putting on contacts and wearing glasses when I don't, so. Kerr says, thank you so much, mistress, for responding to all the questions. Very informative. You are very good, very composed and elegant. Oh, why, thank you. Hopefully this is also what I do best. I am like this in session as well, so. Third eye, I just finished giving my niece driving instructions and working out. Ooh. Yeah, my father taught me how to drive and it was very like, <laughs> we butted heads a lot. <laughs> so I'm sure you're a fine teacher. Graham, yes, custom made, archeologically precise replicas. Ooh, very nice. Luffy, how many dollars per session is required for a couple's master session? Does the price change if the session is longer? When you fill out that reservation form, mm, when you fill out that reservation form, we can talk about that between us. Remy says, but mistress, you look sexy with glasses. Why thanks. It's a necessity. I'm literally blind as a bat without them. <laughs> so, uh, third eye, what would you want to improve on your body? out of curiosity since you asked. Third Eye says, what buttons? Huh? What do you mean, what buttons? <laughs> I don't understand. Speedo says, or asks, when you were in Greece, you were doing sessions? Yes, I was. If you go and watch my tour, you'll know that I had sessions by myself and then I doubled with um, Mistress Alexandra. Luffy says, we are going to fill in the form to be able to carry out this session. We are two novices. Is that annoying for you? No, I welcome novices. I love I love newbies. That means there's so much things to try with each other, even more so that you are a couple. Third eye, did you slap or yell at them? Wait, at who? <laughs> Third Eye, refresh your uh, stream because you may be a little bit behind. 
You can do that by refreshing the page and it'll go straight to where I am streaming live now. Speedos, how did I lost that? Um, you didn't watch the whole video, that's why. <laughs> go back and watch it. That's your assignment for the evening. Kerr, which country would you like to visit where you haven't been or the one where you would like to visit again? I haven't been to the UK, so London would be on my list. Graham, apart from my best friend, another co close acquaintance of Jamaican extraction. That's so, extraction is such an interesting term. <laughs> um, is a working mistress in London. Cool. <laughs> uh, Luffy, thank you very much for accepting us mistress. We are now your submissives. We are delighted to serve you. You can't call yourselves my submissives yet. <laughs> we haven't sessioned yet. <laughs> Uh, potential submissives, I would say. My potentials. Third eye, do you have a time for when you will come back to Boston? No. Um, so my first flight that I'm going to be taking since all of this COVID business happened is going to be next month for Thanksgiving and I'm going up to San Francisco from uh from la and we'll see how that goes i think it'll be fine um and then hopefully you know as i probably won't go anywhere else and you know for the rest of the year but there's only you know three months left uh but hopefully next year we can kind of see how things go so i hope you are you are subscribed to my um newsletter because that's how uh, you'll find out when I will be traveling again. Sanjay, can I miss Mara? Can you what? I don't know what you're asking. Kerr, well done. Luffy, best of luck. Graham, your highness would enjoy London. Lots to see and do. Yes. I know, I've been wanting to go forever. <laughs> Also shopping, even though it's really expensive there. I uh, I love some of the um, the fashion, if you will. Uh, Third Eye says, West Coast is so lucky to have you. Aw, thank you. Well, hopefully every city that I visit feels that way. <laughs> uh, Luffy, Mistress would like to collaborate with Mistress Astro and now Goddess tangent um i've already collaborated with astro um goddess tangent has never replied to any of my emails because i emailed her once about um using a space that i was managing here in los angeles so i don't think she's interested or she just didn't receive my email it got lost in probably what she receives a lot of so if you um, if you want to mention me and send me her, or send her my contact information, I am open to that. Third Eye says yes. Play it safe. Sanjay says, "Can I call myself your sub?" Since you've already served me by purchasing off of my wish list and doing actual tasks for me, yes, you can call yourself my sub. Very new sub, <laughs> but a sub nonetheless. Hello, Tom. Says, hello, my queen. How are you doing? Today I'm doing fantastic. Graham, yes, I envy the West Coast. I've been to the US in 2007, but only got as far as Nevada. Oh, what were you doing in Nevada? Nevada. Ugh. Um, third eye, COVID just messed everything up worldwide. This no close contact sucks. Agreed. Spiros, I can't find your Twitch account. Can you please, Mistress, tell me the Twitch name? Um, I think it's Domina Mara, but stay on YouTube. YouTube is better. Like, it's better quality, and you can see what people are actually, you know, saying in the chat versus me, you know, reading it out loud for people. 
Uh, Sanjay says, that's great. Thank you, Miss Mara. Smiley face. <laughs> Third eye, I'll have to come out there to see you if I can't take it anymore. <laughs> I, I can recommend places to stay. And I mean, depending on your budget, um, we can also do a dom date together where I can show you some of my favorite places. Um, you know, you can view the donation rates on my website under Beyond Domination. Remy says, Lucky Sanjay. Yes, he is. Sanjay says, if you go to London, please do not go to the restaurant De Shum. Okay. Um, I'm not going to ask why, but I usually tend to go to places that are recommended by other um, friends or people or also Yelp. I'm a big Yelper. Um, one second. I'm plugging in a phone. And, and also going to refill my water. Yes, Sanjay, I said, please, oh, please do go. Okay, I read that wrong. Is, is that Indian? Luffy says, okie dokie, I fully understand your answer. Uh, I'm not sure what your second sentence means. Third eye says, okay, thanks, mistress. Smiley face, smiley face. Graham, a uh, trip, family trip with my ex-wife. We started in Denver toward the Midwest. My favorite places were Yellowstone and the Grand Canyon. Oh yes, beautiful places, beautiful scenery. It, the Grand Canyon looks unreal. Every time I go there, it just seems like a painting. And I've been there when it snowed. That's the first time I actually saw snow um was the grand canyon i was in the car and we were getting out my family was getting out to take a photo and literally the moment i opened a snow snowflake fell on my on my on the palm of my right hand and my mom took a photo of it i still have like an actual physical photo because you know pre-instagram days <laughs> um but yeah beautiful Kerr says, do you believe or do you make your subs follow protocols? So we, if they are service subs, then they follow protocol. Meaning that if I have a certain way that I want them to do something, say cleaning, if, they, if I need them to clean something, I'll have them start, you know, um, at the top, work the way all the way to the bottom and, you know, change out uh, the towels once it's super dirty, stuff like that and um if they have any questions they get to you know they ask me about it however if they are there for um certain interests that don't include service i guess i can have them follow instructions as well so it depends on the person sanjay says it's a great restaurant yes okay I will check it out. Alice. Hi, ma'am. Hello. Sanjay, I can't wait to get such specific tasks like cleaning for you, Miss Mara. Cleaning would have to be like in session or, you know, if I had my own play space again. <laughs> um, so there's specific ways that I like to have things done and cleaned, so. I will let you know. Tom says, you want me to bow down to you, my queen? No, I want you to like every video of mine on YouTube. That's your task for the day. Third Eye says, you ever want to film a session, but the sub didn't? You ever try to seduce them to do so? <laughs> um, yes. There was a sub who wanted to stay super private. However, I think because he saw like 
other videos that were successfully hiding the face due to them facing the other way. He allowed me to start taking photos and, you know, filming a little bit to put on social media. So I didn't really have to seduce them for that. They kind of just like made up their mind. But in a way, I guess it's indirectly seducing them because he likes me. <laughs> so... <laughs> Um, Kerr says, mistress, what is your favorite fetish in femdom? I like having my feet worshipped and my legs worshipped. Graham, lovely. I had a helicopter ride through the canyon. Oh, okay. That should be on my bucket list, actually. I'm sure you would appreciate Denmark and Sweden, which I had the pleasure of visiting my with my father many years ago. Watch my tour. <laughs> I just posted that. I was in both Sweden and Denmark after Greece. Um, Sanjay says, Kuri, you can watch the ASMR video by Miss Mara. Yes, you can also do that. <laughs> uh, the, uh, the Dom Date ASMR video is pretty good to showcase what kind of a session you would, my ideal session is. Alice says, you empowered. Thank you. Kerr says, thanks, Sanjay. Oh, look at this teamwork. It makes me so happy. Third Eye, you seem like you go from zero to 100, meaning from nice to mean, mistress. Uh, I wouldn't say that I go from zero to 100, but I think I can, I'm like, I'm nice all the time. And then like, I'll insert mean, you know? Tom Smith, you do have the most beautiful, very beautiful and gorgeous feet. Thank you. Graham, ah, oh, splendid. I'll be sure to watch them later. Yes. It took me a week to edit, so please give it a thumbs up after you're done watching it. <laughs> Sanjay says, Miss Mara, what is the meanest and most difficult task you feel like you've given to a sub? Hmm, that's a good question. Hmm. What is the meanest thing I've ever had them do? I really love, um, I really love having subs clean with a toothbrush or less than, <laughs> especially big plate, like big spaces, like a bathtub or something. Um, that's fun. Uh, Third Eye says, are your toes nude? Yes, they are. So are my fingernails because why bother painting them at this time? They don't really, I mean, I used to paint my nails every week when I was in high school. And then when I got into university, I didn't have the time. And also I was using my hands a lot because I'm an artist. So there was no point in really keeping them nice. Um, and then after I began my career in doming, um, they would always break because I'm a very active dom. <laughs> so <laughs> you can't win. And I don't do acrylics. I don't do fake, you know, nails or anything. So that actually weakens your nails even more. Kerr says, can you insert mean here? Um, sure, if you tip me. You can, I can do a little demonstration. Graham, Scandinavia will have been blessed with a new goddess while you were here or there. Yes, I actually was able to session in Sweden and in Denmark as well. So, yay. Third Eye says, wow, the subs are nursing their wounds, lol from my nails <laughs> from, or from being, for me being mean. <laughs> from being mean. <laughs> uh, you know, I feel like the part of me that really makes it mean isn't even like the humiliating like verbiage. It's more of me like 
telling them to just do things and that if they don't do it better, they're just not good enough to be around me. And I don't know if that's, I mean, that is mean, but it's like not really that mean. I don't know. I guess mean is relative. Akash, hello. Nice to see you again. Graham, battle wounds to be proud of. <laughs> Depends on your interest, I suppose. Brian Huang, I think the best wife to husband Ben's mistress. Ah, you mean dominance? Yes. Um, I'm sure as a sub, most husbands would agree with you. <laughs> uh, Tom is asking, what is one wish you can have a sub do for you? Like I mentioned, if all of you, and this is a realistic one, can like all my videos, the more likes that my videos get, the more visibility it gets, which means I will be on more often and people will get to see Domina Mara in all of her glory. <laughs> you can do that while you're on your knees if you'd like. There, to spice it up, kneel and go through every single one of my videos and hit that thumbs up button. Mario. That's what I want to be a foot mistress sub. Yes, I need, I mean, at the end of the day, I usually get a little bit of a foot massage cause I'm, I'm spoiled, but you know, during, during COVID time, this is a little difficult. Akash, thanks for remembering me. You keep coming back and become a regular. And of course I'll remember you, but I also have a very good memory. So <laughs> Sanjay says, Miss Mara, have you ever had a session with a couple, husband and wife, doming both of them? Yes, I have. And I also do couples where if one, another one is a top, I coach them so I can coach them to be a better dom for their spouse or um, we both co-top their spouse or the girlfriend or whoever. Third eye, personally, what is your favorite footwear to wear daily and for sessions? Well, if I'm at home, I'm barefoot. <laughs> um, for sessions, probably the six, no, yeah, six inch stilettos that have the open toe and the crisscross, um, like straps. It's the leather one that's on my footwear ASMR video. That's my favorite one makes me taller, but it also lifts everything. And then it just, it's super sexy. Otherwise for casual days, like going to and from session, I wear sneakers. I love sneakers. Right now it's like, it's my Adidas high tops, which are actually a men's shoe. I liked it so much that I bought it in my size, but they're men's. <laughs> Liam, hello, Miss Mara. Wait, you spelled my name wrong. Say that, spell my name right again and capitalize Miss and Mara. <laughs> Here we are again, this time not at 5 a.m. <laughs> I'm glad you were able to make it at a more reasonable hour, I suppose. <laughs> Maria, I understand. Mara, okay, you corrected it. Capitalize. Um. Graham says, always a pleasure to administer a soothing massage to one's mistress. I love receiving massages, so. <laughs> Akash says, oh wait. Uh, Remy says, you definitely have a very good memory. I appreciate. I pay attention. Akash, I love your hairband. Thank you. So I obviously I'm matching, but it's to kind of, you know, give a little bit of a, Halloween taste for next week. Next week is gonna be so, so, so fun. I will be dressed up and have a bunch of goodies that Sanjay has actually sent me. So I'll be receiving those in the mail, or I've already received some, but I'll be receiving more next week. Liam says, Miss Mara. <laughs> Thank you for the capitalization. <laughs> Sanjay says, Ms. Mara, have you seen the series called Billions? It's a thriller based on stock market and it has some concepts of BDSM. Huh, no, I have not. Is that on any of the streaming sites? Like Netflix, Hulu, 
HBO, whatever else is there. Third Eye, if you have a session with Liam, are you going to punish him for spelling your name wrong since you have a great memory? No, because he actually corrected himself before I said something about it, so he's okay. And I gave him a warning right now about capitalizing. Akash says, I want to see you in latex catsuit. Next week, you can tip me and I can change into one. But I already have my outfit set for the week because people have bid They've sent in tributes and bid for my, um, how do you call it? My outfit for the day already. If you watch my Halloween contest video, you'll kind of know about that better. Liam says, are you wearing lace kitten? Um, I'm wearing a headband that has lace that looks like cat ears. Third, uh, third eye says, nice series. Sanjay, it's on Showtime. Ooh, I love Showtime stuff. Um, Third Eye says Hulu, I think. Ugh, I don't have a Hulu account anymore. Um, Maria is asking if I like to slap faces. Yes, I do. Sometimes I even like to do that with my feet. Graham says my last mistress had an occasional back problem, so I kept, I was kept busy massaging. Oh uh, well. Good that she made use of your skills. Sanjay asks, do you have any favorite movie or series that you like based on BDSM? Mm. There's two that I haven't seen yet, but... Mm. I don't know. I'm interested in watching R100, which is a Japanese one. And then the other one was My Mistress, which is European. It was a an indie film, I believe. So I want to watch those first and then see, go from there. Akash says, I can't get into your website. Are you spelling it right? Luffy, completed form and sent it in mistress. All right, I will check it in a bit. Mario says, love that response. <laughs> uh, Liam says, Nyaha, I was well prepared. I'm a good sub who will not make mistakes. And if I do, I will make sure I make up for it even before my dom asks me. Good. Now you just have to um, learn how to capitalize those titles. <laughs> well, I guess you're just typing as is, which I have a tendency to do also. Uh, Sanjay says, have you watched Tokyo Decadence? No, I have not. That sounds fun. I, don't, I mean, I like Decadence and I haven't been to Tokyo yet either. So that's on my list as well for travel. Graham, quite right, my lady. It's always an honor to serve. <laughs> Good, you know your place. <laughs> Uh, Mario says, do you watch anime during your free time? Um, if I find an, I never, like, I'm always open to TV series, uh, a TV series or movie that has a really good plot and interesting characters. So it doesn't matter if it's animated or not. But yes, I've watched um, many animated things. Remy says, my mistress is a great film. The actress is French. Yeah, I mean, when I saw the trailer, I was interested in it, but it, I, it was never like, oh, I'm dying to see it. I just haven't gotten around to it. Third Eye says, can you tell if a sub is naturally a sub, dom or switch? Yes, I can tell. Um, and a sub wouldn't be a dom. They would just be topping from the bottom if they are bossy or a brat or just a kingster, which means they're not a sub at all. <laughs> um, Mario says, Miss Mara, that's me. <laughs> Luffy, I only, I only put my application, not my spouse's because I would like to try it alone. Okay, no problem. Kerr says, liked every single one of your posted videos, mistress. Don't forget to do my live ones as well. Live is on the live stream playlist and it's also on a different um, section on my channel. 
And if you go to the community tab, you can also like all of my photos that are on there. I don't know if you guys know about that, um, but I also post photos once in a while. If you're subscribed, you should be seeing some of that. Liam says, capitalization is something my language teacher who hit us when we made mistakes would beat into me. Well, obviously it's not, you weren't beaten hard enough because <laughs> you're not doing it. <laughs> Perhaps you need to get into a room with me. Graham says, ah, yes, I've seen the French film. Some intense moments. Mario, I have liked your videos. Thank you. Like my photos too. <laughs> uh, Kerr says, I, I did that also, mistress. Very well done. Now you can go onto my Instagram and do the same thing because <laughs> I have a lot more photos on Instagram. <laughs> uh, Luffy says, thank you again, mistress, for your answer. I repeated myself, but what we would like, what we like about you is your professionalism. So thank you, mistress Mara. You're welcome. Uh, Sanjay asks, what is you, what is that? What? Uh, Sanjay, you might need to revise your question because I'm not sure what you're asking. Um, Liam says, damn, I would have loved to get into a room with you, but that was a stupid mistake. I meant couldn't. Uh, Third Eye says, mistress, you make doming sound so fun and painless. Painless for me or for you? Because <laughs> it won't be painless for you. Uh, Maria says, I haven't seen them yet, Miss Mara. You haven't seen my, my photos on YouTube? Go to my community tab. If you go on to the Domina Mara YouTube channel, there's a community tab and click on that and there are all the photos. And then also my Mara Domina Instagram also needs some liking. Uh, Luffy says, Mistress Mara, a small question. Does COVID have any restrictions during BDSM sessions? I'm seeing select people right now. Um, and then I also wear a mask the entire time. Um, everything is obviously the same sanitization, all, all of the other stuff is the same. Like if I've always been very good at, um, how do you call it? Like keeping everything clean and pristine. So, uh, third eye says, mistress, you seem like a naturally bossy woman. I am a bossy person. And I'm proud of it because I know what I want. Um, Sanjay says, do you do sessions with two different subs who don't know each other? No, I have not. Um, people always fantasize about that, but it never happens because somebody always chickens out. So uh, Graham says, may I say it is refreshing to see the respectful tone in the chat comments, a tribute to Her Majesty Miss Mara. Yes. I, and I love that as well, Graham. I agree with you 100%. On Instagram and on Twitch, it's a little less so, which is why I don't like going on those platforms as much. But sometimes I get one or two people that make it worth it. And, you know, it's nice to shake things up a little bit too, because sometimes they have really good questions or comments. Third Eye, do you give temperature check at the door? I do not, but um, a lot of the people that I see have had their test done, the COVID test done, and they have to be negative to see me. And they have to have quarantined for like two weeks. If not quarantined, then obviously tested, and then, you know, they give their results to me. Chipstick. Hi, Mistress Mara. I love you. <laughs> Hello, Chip. Um, Mario, what is your website, miss? I want to become your foot sub once I'm ready. Um, dominamara.com. You can find all my links on my YouTube channel page, the main page. They're also 
in the descriptions. Every single video has all of my links. Luffy, I totally understand, mistress. I will respect your rules for my health and yours. Thank you. Honestly, it's also for everybody else because if you are paying attention to your health, um, then you're also being considerate to other people. Kerr says, beautiful pictures on community tab. Liked all of them. Good job. On to my Instagram. <laughs> Liam says, Ms. Mara, you said that you would travel to other countries. I think you said you'd do some doming there. I was wondering, I wonder if that was true. When are you coming to Belgium? So Liam, I just posted my tour of Greece, Sweden, and Denmark. You should watch that video. And then I posted that two hours ago. Um, Belgium is on my list. So whenever I get the chance, I suppose, because there's a lot of other countries that I want to go to, such as Germany, um, I've been to France before for obviously vacation, but I've never been to expand the uh, in the femdom area, arena. So, if you sign up for my newsletter on my website, you'll know my travel dates. Maria, gotcha. Just very new at this. No problem. Graham, glad to hear that your highness is maintaining a strict COVID sanitization regime. I quarantined for a fortnight in April after a close friend died of it. One can't be too careful. And that's the thing, like a lot of people who aren't wearing masks, like it's because they don't know anybody who has gotten sick from it. And so they're not gonna do anything about it. And it's kind of appalling because <laughs> even if they don't get affected by it, they could spread it to other people and that's very, very bad. My, you know, analogy is what if your grandparents caught it? You know, what if older people or people who didn't have a great immune system caught it? Then what? And you were responsible. Um, Kerr says, I will have to come out of this video to get onto Instagram. I don't want to miss the opportunity of seeing you live and get to learn more. All right, well then do it after this live stream. There's no rush to it. That'll be your weekend assignment. Liam, those videos were next one of my list of videos to watch. I must check it out. You'll be in, when you will be in Belgium. We're in, oh yes. Yes, I remember. Uh, Luffy, master the outfit you're wearing during a session is chosen by the submissives or you. I usually choose what I wear, but sometimes people request certain things. So like next Thursday, I have one of my regulars who um, is into tickling seeing me and he really likes me in everyday wear. So he likes me in casual clothes like gym clothes or, you know, a t-shirt and just shorts. <laughs> even not that I wear shorts often but for him that's what his request is and he likes me without makeup <laughs> so people have requested that as well um, he thinks natural beauty is like he just wants to appreciate me naturally I guess uh, and then sometimes like if people request a certain outfit, let's say leather, they will like I had a Canadian sub buy me actual leather pants because he wanted me to wear that in session. So. Uh, third eye, Miss Mara, there's only one R in my name. <laughs> Can you tell if you dominate a sub who has a dominant personality? Yes, because a lot of the people that end up seeing me actually are like you know, high profile, um, how do you call it, occupations that require them to be dominant in the room, but they submit to me, so. <laughs> Kerr says, thank you, mistress, for the task. How to confirm you about the task of liking Insta post, Insta message, or Twitter. Twitter would be a good one because then I could retweet it and tell other people to do it too. And you'll be the shining example of completing it. Third eye, I would like you in lip gloss. Well, 
since you have tipped me, I can go and get that actually, since I have to use the restroom in a second. So what color of lip gloss? Um, Graham says, absolutely right. The world is currently divided into those whose lives have been profoundly touched by COVID and those whose lives haven't. Yes. Sanjay, uh, Miss Mara, I would love to serve you in sneakers because you love them. <laughs> it also mixes things up. Like I've had, you know, different foot worshippers clean like leather boots and then I've had them clean my sneakers, which are also kind of like a patent leather. So Liam, do you do things like sensory deprivation? I love sensory deprivation. I love, um, you know, blindfolds. I love um, covering different parts of the senses to really enhance like suspense or the sense of touch. Uh, Luffy says, thank you, Miss Mara. We will talk about it by mail. Okay. Third Eye says, I deliberately added extra R. Why? Because you want to be punished. <laughs> Third Eye says, doesn't matter the color, I'm simple. Okay. Noted. Graham says, my best friend's clientele included everyone from lawyers to brick layers, all of whom crave domination. Yeah, there's quite a few. Um, there's, there's a big range of who sees me. I've... I've had like a professional house painter to lawyers to like someone who is, um, you know, really, really high profile, an actor, um, actors and entrepreneurs, like students. So Liam says, that's what I'm most into, blindfold, gag, sound canceling, headphones. I love that too. <gasps> uh, Yes, okay, we would have so much fun playing. I also really like um, like body bags. Like I have a leather body bag that I really, really love. Cause then I could just take certain body parts out and play with those at a time. My hair says, love my feet. You mean my feet? <laughs> Kerr says, good guys here. Would you recommend to create a community of your admirers and subs mistress? I mean, this is kind of my community. That's why I sign on to live stream because I think I just want to connect more with you guys. I mean, it's one thing to post like my videos because you can see what I'm doing. And then, you know, also when I'm not available, then you can watch me then. But this is live. Like there's a huge difference between that. So Sanjay says, I don't crave domination. I crave Mara's supreme authority over me and opportunity to serve her. I mean, that's kind of domination, <laughs> isn't it? If not domination, what is supreme authority? <laughs> um, Third Eye says, white collar and blue collar. Love Miss Mara. Yeah, I'm open to anybody who, as long as they, you know, pay tribute. Graham says, well put. Luffy, how do you feel when you dominate a mistress? Does it give you the power of importance when they call you mistress? You mean if I'm dominating another female? I'm not sure what you're asking. Um, and, you know, my title depends on the dynamics. So if you're a sub, you call me mistress. If you are um, interested in like a more spiritual thing, you call me goddess. So. Liam says, wait, like a body bag as in you put dead bodies or as in a BDSM tool, which I don't know about yet. <laughs> okay, go to Iwantmara.com and I have a clip that shows me with somebody in a leather bag that I lace up like a corset and then I take out certain parts that I want to play with. Um, Liam says, I do want to try out a vac bed, taking away touch, kind of. Um, it's more like all touch, right? Because you're in latex the whole time, but it's like sucked onto you. <laughs> Sanjay says, yes, I meant I love BDSM, but I'm committed to serving you. Good. All right, I'm going to go grab the lip gloss and I'm actually gonna put it on live. So I will be right back. Don't go anywhere.
So, Kerr says, wow, that's wonderful, mistress. Thanks, third eye. No problem, Kerr. Kerr, you need to, you need to be the next one to do that. Ooh, we're gonna be vampy. This is the color. <laughs> Does not look like that at all, but you know, it gives a little bit of a glamorous look. Uh, Luffy says, okay, Mistress Mari, you dominate all over the world. Example, Dubai, London, France, Canada. Um, those are places that I need to go to. <laughs> but if you watch my latest video, you can see that I've gone to Greece, um, Sweden, and Denmark. Um, Third Eye says, even to... <laughs> Your walk in slippers is sexy. Yeah, I put on slippers earlier because <laughs> sometimes, okay, this is kind of a secret, but I'm gonna say it anyway. I like to slide on the floors <laughs> and I could do that in slippers. <laughs> Usually I'm barefoot though. I have to like change it in and out because sometimes my feet get too dry from being barefoot all the time, but. Graham says, the Honor Fetish Club in London has a comprehensive range of BDSM accessories, a wonderful place to browse in with one's mistress. Oh my goodness, I know. I'm dying to go so bad. One day it'll happen. Eden. Hello. Third eye, love it, mistress. <laughs> Eden, how's it going? I'm doing great. <laughs> uh, Sanjay says, do you ask subs to also wear a mask during session for a session like GS? It's a little difficult to do GS in that, with that, but it's possible, obviously, especially if there's a space for the mouth. Also, I've used um, like funnels to help with that. Um, I don't require them to wear masks. They can wear masks if they like, or if they request to. Um, and then, cause some people don't like it. Some people think they get claustrophobic. Um, and also it gets sweaty. So some people don't like that, but people who like leather love it. So, um, and then if I'm doing the body bag, that's also a great way to do both. Like full body bondage, if you will. Bondage, if you will. Graham, very fetching, ma'am. Thank you. Uh, Liam, I adore lip gloss. I do have a lip and tongue fetish. What is GS, if I may ask? Mm, golden? I'm gonna let other people describe it. <laughs> because, But like PG, because I can't say it. If you know what golden is, you'll know what GS is. Sanjay, what, what is subs are okay with you not wearing masks? I don't understand your question. Eden, good question. Do you require a COVID test? Yes. Um, or if you've quarantined for the, for 14 days, that, you know, is a second best. Um, I will be wearing, I wear a mask to every single session. In person, obviously. Uh, third eye, have you ever had a session with two subs, one that just wanted to do voyeurism? Um, I've had a fetishist that um, what wanted to voyeur me playing with a female sub, so yes. They're not really a sub though, so I don't know. Um, and then couples are another thing. Kerr, did any sub come up with a weird question that surprised even you, mistress? Yeah, it, I think, I can't remember what the actual question was, but it was like, they were, they liked scents, um, like smelling scent. 
And um, they were just asking some really weird questions about like armpits and stuff like that. And I'm like, like how many days I would take a sh not take a shower for that. I'm like, no, <laughs> it is how it is. Like it is like my sense is going to be how it naturally is. I'm not going to modify anything. Um, unless it's like socks, then I can wear socks for multiple days. Especially if I'm selling those, because I do sell those. Same with pantyhose. Luffy, are you going to remake lives, mistress? I think I remake lives all the time. Third eye, golden stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> Third eye. Ian, I went to King Swinger's event last night and it required all of us to take a COVID test. Negative result. Good. Where the heck did you go to an event that had that? I didn't know events could be happening. Liam, oh no, I know. Never mind. I know what golden is. <laughs> I'm glad you got it. Uh, Graham, my Jamaican Dom friend is partial to masks. To each their own. Um, Sanjay says, Mistress, which part of BDSM session gives the sense of ultimate power? and having the feeling of ownership. Um, honestly, it's like when the sub is very, just like into whatever is happening, like I can feel it. Their emotion and mental capacity for me is like 100% mine. That's, that's what it is for me. Kerr, armpit is a normal fetish, I think. Um, not common but it was a questions that they were asking about like preparation for that. So I don't remember what the questions were, but it was about that. Sanjay, not in terms of favorite session, but a specific situation or moment. Um, I had a, hypno a hypnosis sub one time who was like super into just being in the mind. And I guess I did it so well for him. He doesn't, he doesn't remember anything like when he's brought out of it, but when he's in, in it he would like start drooling and just really be mesmerized and afterwards he was even more enamored with me just like for put, for being able to put him in that space and giving him like this spiritual connection so hope that answers your question sanjay Liam, smells are lovely, but asking for not showering does sound very weird. Yeah, it was like, oh man, I wish I could remember it, but I I specifically deleted it from my memory because I was like, this guy's weird. <laughs> or not this guy, but the question was so odd. Um, third eye, last time you were live, you usually shut Rube's subs up with socks. <laughs> Uh, well, actually, the last stream, you weren't there. You should check out my last one. It was really good. I was actually drinking some cognac and rum and whiskey, and I was on for four hours. Like, it was so good. <laughs> watch watch the last stream. I had glasses on with that one. Um, but one of the... A sub girl um, was there, and she was very good at, like, disarming certain comments, so... Watch that one later. Eden, downtown LA, Wonderla Wonderland event. Had a bottom session with Miss Kimono. I don't know who that is. Um, Graham says, I've been on the receiving end of GS a couple times. It's not my thing, although I didn't mind it. Ladies in question enjoyed it though, which is the important thing as I'm sure you will agree. Well, I keep myself extremely hydrated, so a lot of people, even though they're curious to try it, they ended up really loving it because, again, well hydrated. Luffy, thank you very much, mi oh, thank you very much, mistress, for your answers. I will leave you now. Have a great day. I'm delighted to belong to you, mistress. Thanks for joining the chat, and I will review your uh, reservation form in a bit. Have a good day and weekend ahead. Third Eye, I had a session earlier this year who tried to force me to film without a blindfold. I would only film if I'm comfortable. Yeah, that doesn't sound like a nice person. I never force anybody to do anything they don't want. Adam, 
Um, hello. Nice to see you. Kerr, mistress, have you learned hypnosis? Yes, I have, and I've been extremely successful with both male and female subs. Sanjay, that's missing. Miss Mara, that's the missing part from this stream. What is? Liam, you said you love sensory deprivation as well, but you're a dom and not a sub, so how does that work? Oh, I love giving it to other people, I mean. The hypnosis thing sounds amazing. Sadly, I can't believe in it, so it's hard to ask a dom for it. I don't think it's necessarily you have to believe in it. I think you just have to have like a willing mind, like willing to have your mind taken over and just like follow the directions. Or you should just session with me because I have been successful <laughs> and I can do it on you. And there's different levels to um, having an effect of hypnosis. Some people like really feel it and they're out and some people just have like a tingling sensation and it's just very suggestive. So it means different things to different people and obviously people have different um, types of bodies. Graham, uh, my best friend managed to hypnotize me when she had me on the St. Andrew's Cross one afternoon. She was very pleased. Very nice. Do you remember it? Like what happened during hypnosis? Third eye, I love your hair, by the way. Oh, thank you. Sanjay, the drink. Oh, <laughs> the drink is what's missing this time. <laughs> well, I had um, I, I had a whole bottle of white wine yesterday and some whiskey, so I think I'm okay for today. That's why I'm just nursing my water <laughs> for the day. But Halloween, we will have absinthe. Courtesy of, um, you know, Sanjay. Or no, sorry, courtesy of Charles. Charles was the one who bought that one. But Sanjay has um, purchased my one of my outfits for the day. So stay tuned for that. Mario, what are your opinions on circumcision? Um, I don't have an opinion because this is not the platform for that. So unfortunately I can't answer that right now. Have to keep it PG. Liam, ooh, I see. Well, I asked, I'll ask for it when I get a chance with you. Also, yeah, I get that, but I think my brain will just work against it. Although I would love for it to work. Well, that's half the battle is letting, just allowing it to happen. And who knows, maybe when you're in the same room with me, you'll be too nervous. You'll be so nervous to even think about it not working that it might actually would work. Third eye, sounds amazing to be hypnotized by Miss Mara. Do you make them do things after you hypnotize them? If they are um, able to follow directions, yes. Yes, I do. Like I actually converted one <laughs> hypnosis, hypnotized guy to like massage my feet because <laughs> I just felt like having a foot massage. And so while he was under, I told him to get down on his knees and um, remove my shoes and to massage me. Graham says, I blanked out, then snapped out of the hypnotic state shortly afterwards. A delightful memory of a day in Nottinghamshire. Hmm. Yeah, the hypno guy that I'm talking about, he blanked out too. Like, he doesn't remember anything. He doesn't remember saying anything. He doesn't remember doing anything. The one that massaged my feet didn't even know he got out of his chair. <laughs> or he, I always end with him on the floor, like flat on the floor. And he's like, how do I get on the floor? I'm like... Kerr, you have been so nice, mistress. This is my first time in a live with you and I'm feeling very lucky. Hopefully it will go a long way. I need to leave, unfortunately, but we'll catch up on recording. Yes, and join me next week. Next Saturday, 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Like I mentioned, I will be dressed up, obviously more than this, <laughs> and um, it'll be really fun because it'll be Halloween, but have a good day. Sanjay, Miss Mara, I don't need to be hypnotized to massage your feet, but I'm sure massaging your feet is hypnotizing. Ooh, touche. Uh, Liam, is the hypnosis thing a commonly asked thing to do? Um, people do seek that out for me because I they know that I'm a more spiritual person. I kind of advertise that I do do it. Um, also, sometimes they ask me for hypnosis as like a little bit of a push to kind of like 
again, be suggestive into doing something that they might not be comfortable normally doing. So like if somebody is not sure if they really want to submit, they'll ask me to hypnotize them and make them more comfortable doing it, you know? And it worked, it worked for them. Uh, third eye says, wow, he didn't remember massaging your feet. <laughs> I know, but I knew that going into it. He also didn't know he did other things too. Eden, question on hypnosis. What do you think people who don't believe in hypnosis don't understand? Um, I just think that they don't think it's real or their mind is act, like Liam said, actively fighting against it. And that doesn't make for a good hypnosis, um, you know, partner, because that means that there's nothing to suggest then because they just don't want to do it. So I, I try to get people in a comfortable place, you know, and they know that I speak like this. They know that I am like this. And so for them getting into a room with me and being able to give up their will, their mind's will is easier for them in the long run. Sanjay, any update on your travel plans for SF? Is it confirmed? When will you be confirming sessions with deposits? Um, next month I will be, like uh, probably two weeks before I arrive there. Um, my tickets are bought. So I am flying up there. Um, it's just a matter of what day I'm going to dedicate to sessions because I'm also there. I mean, it's Thanksgiving uh, weekend, so I am there for family, but I'm not always gonna be around family, so. Eden says, would you say that we have to suspend our imagination like we do with films and books? Mm, define suspend, I think like, Yes. Yes, you do. I think you have to create a completely blank mind and just allow for things to happen. Because if you keep thinking about certain things, then your mind's distracted and your mind can't allow you to be hypnotized. Um, Liam, do you not work with certain people because of their body type? No, I welcome all body types. <laughs> the people that I don't work with are the people who say they have a great body, who say they have a lot of money, and then are total douchebags like I don't work with people who I don't care how much money you are how good looking you are and that's sometimes how they start their introduction like emails they'll be like I'm a handsome wealthy you know blah 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 I'm like I don't care I don't care as long as you can afford the session with me and are willing to submit or just play some people don't want to submit so submit or play Age also doesn't matter to me. I don't care if you're, I've had 74 year olds play with me. I've had um, 18 to 21 year olds play with me, so. Third eye, it's challenging to get another fire sign to hypnotize, just saying. That's not true, I've, I'm a Leo and I've gotten another Leo to be hypnotized. <laughs> um, Graham. It seems to me that hypnosis depends on, t on the extent to which the sub is prepared to surrender the will of the dom, all part of the psychological chemistry. Yes, agreed, 100%. Don't think so much, just let it, let it go, let it be. Sanjay says, any plans for domestic travel besides SF? Mm, no, I mean, I will be taking a day trip to Napa or I'll be staying overnight at Napa, but uh, that's about it for now. I'm, I'm testing out San Francisco for my first travel um, excursion uh, after COVID began. 
third eye. Mistress won't hurt hurt you, lol. <laughs> it's true, like, I will never do anything to actually harm you. Like, I will do other things, <laughs> but I will never do anything to actually harm your body or harm you mentally or, or emotionally. Liam, what's your opinion? Some political topics, just kidding. Pet play, also pet play that is permanent. Um, what do you mean by permanent? Meaning like, like there are, they always have to address you with like, like if I had a pup, he can only address me by barking kind of thing or I love pet play. I love pups, kittens, rabbits. What did I have another time? Piggies, I have a pig, piglet. <laughs> um, Third eye, have you ever turned a non-foot guy or a girl to liking feet? Yes, I have. Many men, actually. <laughs> and um, girls who aren't necessarily into feet, I've had them worship my the tops of my shoes, so, or like the side of my boots. Third eye, have you ever, oh wait, nope, I read that already. Um, Graham, I was 22 when I first visited a mistress and I'm 55 now. Pleased to hear that your majesty has no qualms about age. No, not at all. And that's also why I don't disclose my own age because I don't think it matters. Obviously I'm past, way past legal, but you know. Liam, I heard people do it in the day in day out, like pet play, but all day for multiple days. Oh, so yes, that's true. Um, it depends on your dynamic and, you know, what your relationship is with that person, but yeah, it's, that's legitimate. Mm, having such a wonderful time speaking with all of you. Oh, I should have gotten on live live stream more often. I was just so busy with my home renovations, but I'm glad that's done now. Sanjay says, can we do both shoes and feet? Also, do you use a dog collar during your regular sessions? Um, no, I don't use collars unless like it's requested um just because i i honestly don't think people need to have a collar to feel submissive i already make them feel submissive just being in the same room with me and having them do certain things it's a, it's more about the dynamic for me all of the cuffs and the collar the cuffs are actually tools that i can use if i want to lead them around the room then i'll use a collar with a leash they also become a very nice accessory when I'm out and about in uh, events. Graham, your highness looks very youthful if I may say so. Thank you. <laughs> yes, you may. Um, also Sanjay, I, just saying color is fine because most dog collars won't fit actual humans. <laughs> so. Also, Graham, I tried to take care of my skin <laughs> so that I can stay as young as possible, you know, for a very long time. So I'm... Hmm. Third Eye says, at what age did you know the power you had with your feet? Uh, hmm. I'm not sure. I would say in 2013, so I'll tell you the year, and that's the year I started as a professional because I would get requests for foot worship and um, then I would go to foot parties as well. Liam, what's the most uncommon fetish you've heard of and one you did? Also, Miss Mara, you're gorgeous. And when you said 
You're way past legal. I was actually impressed. I mean, to me, you look like you're in your early 20s. <laughs> um, well, I mean, way past legal is like relative to like, some people think like, some people think like 27 to, or 28 or 29 is old. So I don't think it's old. <laughs> um, Third Eyes, yeah, says, wow, that's recent. I mean, I didn't really, I knew about the fetish when I was in, let's see, 2000 and, I would say 2008, I knew about foot fetish, but I didn't know, like, how powerful that could be, especially with my feet. Not at all, because I was non-practicing that time. Um, Graham says, the last time I wore a color, the padlock seized up and the color had to be cut off, sadly. Your Majesty has some marvelously clear complexion. Maybe it's just the lighting. <laughs> um... But thank you. I do try to take care of my, my skin. And also water. Drink water, everyone. <laughs> Drink some right now. That's an order from me. Third Eye says, agreed, you're youthful. You can play a college freshman. <laughs> I would never want to be a freshman again. <laughs> Although, if I went back to school knowing everything I know now, I would totally rock school. Oh, also because I'm like super mature and like know how to seduce now, like for real. <laughs> Whereas in university, it's like, you don't know anything. Eden, gulp. Good job. I hope you really did take a drink. Liam, damn, I have no water anywhere close. I'm so sorry, Mistress Mara. Go get some. <laughs> Before I live stream, I always have like my my picture because I want to be able to refill. Cause talking does take a lot out of it. Sanjay says some of the mistresses some some of the mistresses allow subs to pleasure themselves till the end of the session. Some don't. What is your take on that? Depends on the session, I would say and how good you've been. Third eye, speaking of seducing, have you ever gave signs to a guy to approach you? Mm, no. I honestly, I'm like not very aware of anyone unless they actually come up to me because you can totally mistake people saying hi. Like I've mistook somebody saying hi to me once and they were saying hi to the person behind me. So I just don't assume that anybody's speaking to me until unless they actually like physically come up to me or call me by name or say like, excuse me, miss, you know. Carl, good afternoon. Can you tell when a sub is in a proper hypnotic state or just faking it? Yes, I can tell because um, their eyelids will flutter very rapidly, um, almost unnaturally, but it is it is natural because it's the same type of fluttering as um, when you're in your REM cycle for sleeping, if you look it up on YouTube, you can actually see like a, I'm sure there's a video of like the eye flutter and you can see like the whites of their eyes underneath too. And then like one guy that I, the, the hypnosis guy that I had also, my longest hypnosis um, guy would drool, like his, his head would just drop. I would have to hold him up sometimes and I would put like a piece of paper under his chin because he would just drool <laughs> all over himself. Uh, Liam says, if all the guys in your high school or sophomore would be doomed, please mistress, do not say anything important. I know everything is important, but I don't want to miss it while I'm getting water. <laughs> but you can always just watch my, my live stream again later. You should watch my previous one. My previous one is one of my favorite live streams. Like, and I streamed for four hours. It's great um, to watch if you're like working or doing something. It's good to hear in the background. Um, Adam, done. 
Wait, what is, what are you, oh, drinking water? Is, is that what you're done with? Third eye, wow, this hypnotic talk is so sexy, it must be your voice. I mean, I do have a sensual voice. <laughs> I also have a really good ASMR whispering voice. I also like to whisper in people's ears, like if a sub is wrapped in a body bag and I take out their headphone, I can also whisper into their ear and blow into it and it's really, really, really like sexy. <laughs> That's one of the things I like to do. That one is for Liam. Uh, Liam says, well, I'll watch your other videos, but it's not the same as just being here when you're here too. No, I understand. You better drink water after this though. <laughs> I'm only on for another, what, like 45 minutes to an hour anyway. I've already been streaming for almost two hours. Sanjay, red heart, third eye. Oh my God. <laughs> Liam, I adore ASMR, so thanks. You're welcome. Uh, Graham, and a very sensuous voice it is, ma'am. Musical and thrilling. Thank you. Adam, yes. Liam, I promise I'll drink some water. Good, if you break that promise, you're a bad boy and you're going to be punished. <laughs> Sanjay, it seemed like 10 minutes. I know, these go by fast. Like the four hour one, I couldn't believe it. I was on at 9.30 p.m. and we went until one in the morning and it was crazy. Sanjay says, do you use the same voice during sessions? Uh, like this voice right now? Or, or, which one? Oh, the ASMR voice. Um, like I mentioned, if somebody's like wrapped up and I want to come closer and I just want to, you know, entice them a little bit, I'll use the whispering. But, um, most of the time I have music playing, so I actually speak you know, as I am normally. And, um, yeah. Third eye, while being in public, have you ever teased with your feet, like dangling out a car, shoe dangling? Yes to shoe dangling. Um, if I'm at dinner with somebody and they're sitting either beside me or across from me, I will put my shoe between their legs or on their thigh or rest my, my feet on their lap. Liam, I'll write up every time I'm a good boy and bad boy, so for the time I meet you, you'll know whether to punish or I guess treat. Ooh, I like that. Yes, create like tallies or like make a log. You can even date it if you want to be very specific. You can be like 10, 24, 20, 20. I didn't drink water like I promised. <laughs> But then you can also say, if you did drink the water, you can say, I drank water as promised. And that'll be a good thing. That's another thing I like to do. Somebody was talking about fitness earlier and if I liked including exercise as a form of doming and like self-care is also something I like to do. Um, there's also memes about this where it's like, um, put me in a corner or something, something, something. And it's like, no, take care of yourself. Go brush your teeth. And <laughs> it was like a daddy figure, you know, a sub to a daddy figure saying that. Liam, ooh, don't test me. I have no life. I have so much free time. I'll do it. <laughs> then do it. Uh, third eye, she's laughing, but Liam, you're going to get it regardless. I can tell. <laughs> yes, third eye, you may be correct on that. <laughs> Because even if you do good, I still need to like find something, you know, and I will always find something. So. Graham, random question. Has your majesty ever had a session interrupted by an earthquake? 
Ooh, Miss Mars shoes in one one's lap. What a stimulating idea. Um, no, I'm fortunate not to, because I, I would be scared that I would have to end the session, but luckily I've always been, <laughs> for the last earthquakes that have happened, I'm gonna knock on wood for this, um, but I've been in bed <laughs> the whole time, <laughs> just laying there <laughs> while it happened, and it's kind of like a, a massage. <laughs> Liam, hmm, damn, there goes my good boy plan. Well, we'll see. Keep that log up. If you don't keep the log up, then you're also bad. Liam, what is the most common punishment you give? Um, probably impact. So anything with a crop, a flogger, or cane, um, some sort of rigid implement, or my hand. Um, I also love to tickle, so tickle torture <laughs> is another one. So. I also love to ignore, like if you've been really bad and you're not the type to learn and you're very attention oriented, I will literally put you in a corner or a cage and I'll just ignore you. <sighs> and for some people they're like, no, it's torture. I'm like, well then you shouldn't have done, you should have done exactly as I said. Graham said, we had an earthquake here in Derby several years ago. Interesting experience and a tornado. Ooh, I didn't know you had tornadoes. Hmm. Was that like the first tornado you've ever experienced? Third Eye, have you ever punished a sub for not rescheduling after a cancel? And the next session he finally set up you punished him asking because I watched a session like that. Yes. So, I mean, it kind of doesn't count because it has to do with COVID, but this year um, I had a sub wanting to do a judicial caning session. And he was like, he, he paid the deposit and was like, okay, um, let's set up time. And he's coming from like Santa Barbara. So he um, had to drive here and because COVID happened, then um, he can't. He canceled, but I get to. I got to keep the deposit, so that was okay. And then he scheduled again, and then with another deposit. And then, like a couple days later, was like, I feel kind of under the weather. I'm gonna go take a COVID test, another COVID test. And I was just like, okay. And then he canceled. And then the third time I was like, look, <laughs> you better do it or you, <laughs> you don't do it. And he did it. And you can actually see the, the session on Iwantmara.com because uh, he wanted me to film it as well. Um, Sanjay said, Miss Mara, can we set up a fake session this, next week so I can cancel? So you can punish me for canceling when we meet in November, hopefully. No, uh, I don't want to role play that. <laughs> I'll just find other things to punish you for. And I already have things that I can punish you for. Like you not writing your emails correctly. Graham, yes, the UK has a lot of tornadoes, usually small ones. Yes, it, it was my first, quite alarming. Hmm, I did not know that. I, I've seen small tornadoes in festivals here. Um, but yeah, I don't chase them. <laughs> some people chase them. Some people like to be in them and I'm like, you're crazy. <laughs> third eye. Okay. Thanks. I got to watch. If you third eye email me and I can send it to you directly and you can, um, you have to, you do have to purchase it, but at least I will earn a hundred percent of the, um, payment for that clip should you choose to want it. And I'll give you the direct download link instead of having to go through the 
um, website. Liam, ignoring is like the cruelest thing you could do. I would instantly cry. Well, I kind of like making boys cry, so <laughs> that would still be torture for you <laughs> because I like making boys cry. Eden, will you punish him for even asking that lol? <laughs> uh, no, it's okay. I, I mean, it, it's fine. I'm sure I can find other things to punish him for. Third Eye, she has a good memory. She'll remember things you <laughs> forgot you didn't do. Yes, I've actually brought up things um, that like other subs or fetishes have done. And they're like, I don't remember doing that. And I was just, or, or like texting me a certain way. And I was just like, you sounded extremely fierce in that last text. And they're like, I don't remember doing that. And then I'll show them and they'll be like, huh, I didn't even remember I did that. <laughs> and then I punish them because I'm just like, well, make sure you do remember next time. And also this is a reminder not to do it in the future. <laughs> Also, third eye, should a sub test mistress? No, they should never test a mistress. I do not appreciate that. I think, yeah, I mean, what way would you say is testing? Sanjay, outside of a session, what is it that any sub has done to get the feeling of giving up complete control? Any action? that took the power completely away from them. For some people, it's removing articles of clothing. For some people, it's putting on the collar and cuffs. For some people, it's getting on their knees and staying on there until I tell them what to do next. So it's a lot of things. Um, oh, outside of session. I read that wrong. Um, I think just calling me mistress in public, opening the doors for me, like basic chivalry. And me snapping at them and ordering them to do things in front of other people, you know? Cause if they don't do it, it's kind of humiliating, but it's also slightly like, it draws attention, you know? And puts them in their place. Graham, any time spent in your majesty's presence would be unforgettable. <laughs> Thank you. And so I've been told actually by previous kinksters. Liam, will you be able to do it even if I look at you with big puppy eyes? Oh, puppy eyes don't work on me. <laughs> Carl, have you ever tried the mute your voice hypnosis on a sub? Mistress Mara, this is the only one that worked on me when I whispered it to myself. Hmm. No, I haven't, but I will try that in the future. Um, I mean, I've, okay, yeah, I have I have ordered a sub, because he would always say like, he would always respond as, yes, mistress, yes, Miss Mara, yes, whatever, and I would tell him to stop and to just focus on the words that I'm telling him, so he did. Graham, I believe in chivalry under any circumstances. A lady deserves no less. Agreed. A hundred percent agree. Good morning, Sofa. Have a nice weekend. I hope you have a nice weekend as well. My weekend's going splendid. I am been live streaming for two hours and uh, you know, we'll probably be on for another half hour or so. So, um, third eye, be strong, but you guys can't get off your knees if they start to hurt. Um, I mean, in my RSVP form, I ask like if you have any medical conditions and usually people will say, oh, I can't be on my knees for too long. And so I will take that into consideration. I'll either put a pillow on the ground or um, just have them there for a second. 
you know, so. And that could be, um, what do you call it? In session or public as well. You know, if they're comfortable doing that in public. Sanjay says, Miss Mara is not just a lady. She is a goddess. She does not need chivalry. Chivalry. She just she deserves complete devotion. Oh no, I do require chivalry. That shows me you have manners. <laughs> and I don't want to have to touch any door knobs if I don't have to. Third eye, you getting on your knees regardless. Ha ha ha. I mean, yes, even if it's for a little bit. Liam says, big baby eyes then. I mean, I have a baby face. Nope. Doesn't fly with me. Graham, an excellent point, Sanjay. No, I still I still deserve chivalry. I, I'm a firm believer in it. Graham says, but my lady is correct. Manners cost nothing. Exactly. And it's just like, it's, it's courtesy, you know, it's common courtesy, I think. Especially to someone you're, you're supposed to be holding reverence to. Besides, for me, chivalry adds to like the drama in life. <laughs> Um, third eye, how does it feel to be taller and bigger with guys to their knees? Um, well, I like being, I just like having my heels on when I'm around, um, subs so because it just elevates everything for me physically and I like that they, that it's a symbol of submission. So, I mean, that's part of the power exchange. And I feel like, I feel like they're more attentive too. Subs are more attentive when they're on their knees because they're like, they, they are literally looking up to the one thing that they are supposed to be focusing on, you know? Or looking down because they, they don't have the permission to look up. That's another thing, Liam. I will also, uh, for punishment, not allow the sub to look up at me if that's all they wanna do is just like gaze at me. They have to have their eyes down the whole time. In, in addition to being ignored. <laughs> Liam says, well, I hope you won't ignore me, though, even when I am a bad boy. Depends on how bad you are. If you're good at following directions and if you're good at receiving your punishment, then you won't need to be ignored. Third eye, not looking at your face would have would be torture. Mm hmm. <laughs> I've done it. Graham and high heels add poise as well as being fetish items them themselves. Correct, 100%. <clears throat> My hair does not want to stay back. <laughs> Eden, question, do you think it would be... Uh, Eden, I think you need to retype that properly unless both of your hands are busy <laughs> Sanjay good thing about not being able to look at your face while face is down is that sub can look at your feet not if I say don't look at me at all they literally would have to look at their hands or their knees 
don't think I thought, I didn't think this through. <laughs> sneaky. You're just telling me that you're sneaky now. Graham, I have very distinct clothing fetishes and high heels are definitely one of them. Do you have a specific type of heel that you like to see? I think that's why I like the black leather platforms with the peep toe is because you can kind of see the toes, but not all of them. And the leather texture is also great. Sanjay, you can punish me for that, Miss Mara, for sneaking and looking at your feet. Mm. I have to pay attention to when I'm in session with you in the future because now that I know you are sneaky, I have to catch it in action. Third Eye says, what color underwear, bra, and panties are your favorite to wear? Thigh highs, etc. Um, I mean, red and black is kind of the color that I really started with. You can actually see that clip as well <laughs> on IWantMara.com. Um, as for... I mean, I like nude as well. I, it depends on how I feel. I've been really into like green, like an emerald green as of late. Graham, stiletto heels, my lady. Ah, the classic. Eden, disingenuous if I start calling a dawn mistress or goddess when first meeting them. I ask because I feel, I think, would feel like I have not earned the right to do so. Honestly, if it's, I mean, for me, I would, Rather they call me mistress, but they can't call themselves my sub. Like so many people are always like, oh, can I be your sub mistress? And I'm like, I don't know. You haven't proved to me that you can be yet. And if we get into the room and you book a session with me, that's when we play and find out. And if you play, you've probably earned the title of sub. Sanjay, especially when you are interrogating me, Miss Mara, for screwing up on my task. Yes. <laughs> Liam, I'm sorry, Mr. Mara, I need to go. It's sad to leave, although I just heard you saying I couldn't look up to you potentially. How do you know when ignoring me? How would I even get more punished? Um, like, you would actually have to face the corner of the room and not look at me and I would ignore you. <laughs> so double whammy. Um, but yeah, thanks for s stopping by. He says, I also wanna try being a brat, but I don't like being punished. I wonder how that would work out. <laughs> well, kind of hard because brats need to be punished, but we'll see. Don't forget to drink your water and I'll see you next time, Leanne. Watch my other videos, especially the travel one and the last uh, live stream. Third eye, are you used to walking in six inch heels? Um, I'm probably out of practice now, but I, I mean, that was my norm to use in sessions, yes. Third eye, just daydreaming about being gagged with your feet. <laughs> That's one of the, that's one of my favorite things to do is actually to do that. Sanjay, Miss Mara, one more thing different in this session is that there has not been live tribute until now. Sorry, I'm not able to do it right away, but I promise to make up for it soon. Actually, there was, you missed it. Um, Third Eye gave me um, $10 and I put on lip gloss for him. <laughs> 
Heart to you too. Oh, that's right. For those of you who are new watching, you can also tip me with the um, dollar sign button that's right by the emoji happy face in the chat. Um, one of the two live streams ago, um, somebody had asked to see my bare feet and they tipped me and somebody else tipped me to show them for a little longer and that was fun. As you heard just now, today I put on lip gloss, which was actually something I really needed to do because <laughs> I don't know why, but my lips get so dry. Well, I guess Los Angeles is dry, but yeah. What are your plans this weekend? Anything fun happening, even if it is at home? I'm actually picking up a treasure chest tomorrow, <laughs> so that's kind of fun for me. <laughs> Liam, well, good night. I'll watch the other videos and drink water. Good night. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you again next time. Sanjay, everyone should tribute for being able to see your face live too, Miss Mara. That's a privilege. I mean, um, the longer I am live streaming, the, I think I get monetization for this. Cause the more views that I have, I think I, I'm monetizing through YouTube. It's not much though. Graham, a treasure chest, interesting. Yes, it's going to hold my crafts. I actually have a chest already, I have two chests. Um, one here in the sunroom if you watched my studio transformation and then one in my living room that's holding a bunch of my uh, naughtier, naughtier items, if you will, from like all the, all the toy companies that have gifted me this year. Third eye, now who? needs to drink more water since your lips are dry miss i stay hydrated <laughs> miss i stay hydrated mara lol you you've been watching me drink water <laughs> i have proof visual proof on the stream that i've been drinking water this whole time and still my lips are dry <laughs> Any interesting stories of things that have happened lately? Sanjay, Miss Mara takes a sip of water and all I can think of is GS. <laughs> uh, you perv. <laughs> Third Eye, do you have videos of breath play? Yes, I do. I want Mara.com. <laughs> uh, I'm actually in a latex cat suit for that one. Um, and it's a POV video. Okay, there we go. Oh. All right, sorry, somebody had called me. Yeah, somebody had called me and I forgot to put my phone on do not disturb, but um, Graham said, lovely, I have some engraved Viking jewelry boxes I'm very fond of. Ah, okay. I wonder if those are like real silver or are they brass? 
Carl, do you see overlap in your clients, Mr. Smarrow? So Mrs. who are also fetishists or strictly defined by a category, Mr. Smarrow? Um, so the difference between the two, I have a video on this, is that a sub actually really wants to serve. They can also have fetishes that they're interested in. Um, fetishes don't want to serve at all. So, um, you know, they'll be interested in like one thing or like a few things and that's it. Uh, so it really depends on the person. But I think, I mean, subs are kind of more versatile in the sense that they can do both. Um, or be both. But the fetishes cannot be both. Cannot be the sub. Uh, Sanjay says, interesting story. I was randomly scrolling through Twitter, through different Domino's handles, and within a few days, without even realizing, I was her new sub. Is that hypnosis too? I mean, it could be. It can be that... Um, you know, I have powers of persuasion that are across the internet. <laughs> Everybody I think needs to refresh, including me, because, um, I'm a little, I'm lagging now a little bit. There we go. I re, okay. Graham says, tooled leather and wood. I saw some very well-crafted bone and metal boxes in Denmark. Ooh, that's fun. I actually didn't get a chance to see a lot of like their craft stuff. Everything was very modern there but I also probably I mean I wasn't looking and I don't know where to look <laughs> third eye the fact that we're drawn to you is sort of hypnotic I agree I think it's also the fact that like I have a very spiritual sensibility to me and so um I think that kind of has a little bit of something to do with it Eden, same here, I refreshed twice. Okay. Yeah, because, let's see. Okay, I had to change quality also. But I got everybody's messages so far. I don't think you guys could have could hear me talking though. So I don't even know what I said anymore, but oh well, guess it wasn't that important. But yes, I did ask earlier if anyone was doing anything fun this weekend. Hello, Mark Scott. Eden, thinking of going for tacos with grilled onions on it. Mmm, that sounds delicious. I actually just cooked, I just baked chicken for lunch and I sliced some onions, which caramelized and some celery. It was delicious. Graham, I think you were only offline for a few seconds. I'm working in the great outdoors tomorrow as usual. Ooh, fun. What's the uh, event?
And do you, how often do you work per week? I'm curious. Eden, I love adding brown sugar with when I cook with onions to boost the caramelization. I don't add any sugar, but I do cook my onions with um, like olive oil. Although the chicken was basted with like this yakitori sauce, so there's sugar in that, and it it has um, caramelized sweetly third eye i imagine dinner with a sub would be intense with your feet in his lap can be especially if he's into feet <laughs> but even if he's not into feet i would you know do something anyway sean says after a long time at goddess's feet hello Graham, I'm currently working as a park ranger. The number of days varies, but I usually get plenty of fresh air and exercise. That's awesome. Yeah, I feel like a lot of park rangers have like really good legs <laughs> because it's pretty much like hiking, which is awesome. You get paid to hike. Do you give tours as well? Sanjay, uh, Ms. Mara, your websites and videos talk about meetups for subs who are not ready for a session. Can you talk a little bit more about how meetups work? What happens and how do you plan one? Well, you've watched all my videos. Um, it's called a meet and greet. Um, and if somebody is not comfortable going into session yet, or if they don't know if I'm the person for them, they will schedule um, a meeting with me in public. So I will pick a cafe and we will meet there and we will discuss their interests. I will dis I will um, discuss past experiences and like reassure them. And when they see me and like who I am and as a person, then we go from there. Um, sometimes if we've already met before, some people just like to, you know, treat me to a nice snack or a meal and or um go experience things with me like i i was in seattle last year and i had a um kingster take me to dinner and then we went to a music event that he wanted to check out and i was interested as well after he told me about it and then afterwards we went to a party that was at a local play space and then he drove me back to my uh place and then the next day I went to the airport and it was great. <laughs> Shan says, Goddess, your temple is almost ready. Uh, where? <laughs> my temple in my mind is already built and ready to go. Carl, I'm not sure if you saw and answered my overlap question mistress because my ls crashed um let's see yes i did answer that actually there is overlap i mentioned subs can be fetishes but fetishes cannot be subs sanjay is it possible to do a quick meet and greet before the session not because a sub is not sure but because it gives them the opportunity to serve you in the real world too well Let's see. Mm. But meet and greets aren't necessarily like serving. They're kind of like, like hanging out with me. <laughs> um, 
serving would be like driving me to my next place that I need to go or picking up something for me beforehand um, or after session. It really, it's specific. Graham, it is indeed no tours as such, but we work with a wide cross se section of the general public. I've envied the Rangers in the US national parks. Which bands did you see? It was this very bizarre one called like, <laughs> I don't remember the name. It was like a new band that's very new age. It was like a jam band, but I think they were called something like Pink Star Galaxy Unicorn something. I don't, it was like a bizarre name. It was good though, it was a good time. Um, third, it was a live band, obviously, with like, uh, you know, drum set and, you know, guitars, singer, etc. Third Eye sounds like a great date. <laughs> Every date with me is a great date. Sanjay, yes, yeah, something like that, Miss Mara, like picking you up from somewhere before a session. Um, well, I will probably be at the hotel already or the space. And then afterwards, you know, depending on what time we session, I may have another session afterwards. So um, you may not be able to serve me at that time, but depending on like whether or not I'll have access to water, maybe you could bring me a bottle of water or something like a sparkling water. We'll, we'll talk as it gets closer to. Graham, I worked with uh, the road cruise for a while. Nice to see bands for free. While well, most, the well, the most well known being Green Day. Ooh, Green Day, yeah. <laughs> they were my jam at uh, when I was in high school, college, high school, college. I don't remember <laughs> school. Uh, Third Eye sounds like a local band. Yes, they definitely were a local band. Carl, I just want to say thank you, Mistress Mara, for replying to my questions. I need to work more on my politeness. <laughs> it's always a work in progress, as long as you're trying. Sanjay, maybe when you land at SF Airport, I can be your chauffeur. Sure, Miss Mara. I will chat with you once session is confirmed. Um, when I land in SF, I actually already have a ride. Um, my parents will be picking me up, and then I'm going straight to... Napa with them. <laughs> so no need um, this time, but I'm sure I'll be back in SF and need a ride. I mean, if ever, I may even go to San Jose first because I actually visited San Jose last year and you can drive me from the airport to my hotel and then we can session and then I will need a ride to San Francisco afterwards. So. We can do that. Hello, Leather Hitman. Ooh, you joined a little late. I'm going to be leaving somewhat soon, but I'm glad you were able to catch a little bit of this stream. Sanjay says, I will confirm whenever that is, please. Miss Mara, I will be the first in queue to pick you up from San Jose Airport whenever that is. Fantastic. And you will be the first on my list to call because you actually have the time to pick me up. So, fantastic. Yes, everybody who's here, come back next week. It will be fun. Halloween themed. And I will be dressed up more than this. And we will have a different background. Because <laughs> I've been live streaming in this room since, you know, I have my computer set up and everything. So I will be in my living room and do a little bit of decoration for that. So... Stay tuned. I'm super excited for it. Third Eye, next week, what will be your costume? Well, I'm glad you asked. 
Um, I don't want to give too much away, but um, three people have are like at the top of tributing right now for the contest. The top contributor has um, gifted three hundred dollars, and they wanted me to be like this matron. Um, type of figure so i'm going to be doing like a cape and a mask and um then sam j is a close number two who has tributed through wish lists and stuff like that and he just bought me um kind of halloween theme a uh, dress which i'll be wearing underneath that and then as i mentioned because it's a contest and it will be live uh people are allowed to tip me and anything over $25 will um, allow me to like change up certain things. Like if somebody wanted me to wear certain leather gloves, I will wear that. If somebody wanted me to put on specific shoes, I will wear that. Um, Sanjay says, Miss Mara, anything pending from Halloween wish list? What is your current top thing? Um, my Halloween wish list. Hmm. Well, I actually pinned my wish list onto this chat. So if you go all the way to the top of the chat, my wish list is pinned. But let's see. Do, do, do. Hmm, nothing really Halloween themed per se, except for probably there's a crystal ball in there. <laughs> um, right now I'm kind of focusing on like the the sugar tongs, the bitters bottle set, and the mixology bartender kit, just because like I have a like an acrylic shaker right now and I want a proper one and I want other mixing, you know, devices to, to make actual proper cocktails. So third eye, all dark makeup, yes indeed. Graham, your highness will be both bewitching and spellbinding, as always, yes. But I will also be visually those things as well <laughs> for, for that time. Brett, greetings from New Zealand. Hello. What time is it in New Zealand, actually? And, yeah. And date. Is it the 24th as well? I can't remember if you guys are like one day ahead or one day behind from pacific time right now it's 5 p.m here harris you are so beautiful just like a queen why thank you all i'm missing is my crown <laughs> Leather Hitman says, how have you been? I've been great. This, li I live chats are always great. For those who haven't been to my live chats before, you can watch my previous one. That was a really good one as well. Brett says, 25, 10, 20. Time is one. Is that 1 p.m.? Okay, so you are the next day, or is it 1 a.m.? P.m. Ooh, you're like a day and a half. Yeah, you're like a day and a half ahead-ish. Harris says it's 5 a.m. in Pakistan. What are you doing up so early? I guess it's the weekend, so you don't really need a bedtime. Carl, do you ever get the endorphins high during or after a session, Mistress Mara. Capitalization still not yet 100% natural for me. <laughs> it's okay. Um, yes, I do. I love the power exchange and that power fuels endorphins. And after a really good session and after a really good live stream, I also have like, like a glow, you know, an afterglow. Sanjay, you should try virtual hypnosis during Halloween session and asking subs to do something you need. I mean, virtual hypnosis is kind of, I would have to have consent from everybody, so that's difficult. And also, a virtual session is a little bit more pricey than what people would probably be tipping me, so I think that's 
a little more generous of a gift that I'm willing to give right now. <laughs> Leather Hitman says, love the look, kitten, tiger. Yes, this is kind of in preparation for Halloween next week. I thought it was kind of an easy look to pull off and also just something fun. Uh, Graham, I suspect that a romantic gothic look would suit you very well, ma'am. It's 1 a.m. in England. <laughs> um, yes, well, actually, my dress will be very romantic goth, so stay tuned. 1 a.m.? That's late, too. Liam, I'm back for a moment. Did you drink your water? Sanjay, I have, you have my consent for life. Do anything you want to me. Anything, you shouldn't ask for anything. Liam, I couldn't stay away from you. <laughs> yes, I did. Good boy. See, you get praise too. I am drinking water as well. <clears throat> Wait, what time is it in Belgium then? Uh, Sanjay, even the sound of you pouring water is seductive to me, Miss Mara. <laughs> it's ASMR, of course it's hypnotic. <laughs> Graham, ooh, wonderful. I look forward to seeing your highness in her dress. I look forward to trying it on. I hope it gets here on time because I ordered it last week. No, wait, I ordered it this week, earlier in the week. But um, I'm not really sure where it's coming from. I know it is here in the in the U.S., so hopefully it gets here on time. Carl, I'm sorry, Miss Mara, for posting my question twice. It said twice in error. That's not your fault. No need to apologize. Liam, what are other treats that I can get except good boy? Um, well, if you tribute from my wish list, which is pinned to the top of this chat. Um, we, I can send you a thank you through email, which may or may not include, I don't know, another task or something. You have to earn those treats. <laughs> cool stuff. Like, I'm not the type to give all of my pets like a treat after every single time they do a good thing. They really have to earn that treat. Like if I, I really want a puppy, <laughs> like a real puppy, but if I had a pup that, um, you know, I took on a, a walk and it was like a really hard hike because I wanted Okay, I think I'm back. Um, but yeah, like I mentioned, I, I will just say that part again. Um, if I, um, had a puppy and I took them on a hike and it was a really hard hike and they made it all the way through, um, they get a treat. <laughs> Maybe like their favorite meal or like I make dog treats at home as well. So maybe a homemade treat. Leather Hitman, always a treat seeing you. Aw, winky face. Sanjay, there's nothing more satisfying than getting a task from Miss Mara. <laughs> I love giving tasks. There's always something to do. Um, Leather Hitman says it's 8 p.m. here. Uh, Graham says, I hope the trials and tribulations of the U.S. Postal Service don't hold up your dress delivery, ma'am. Oh, I know. With COVID happening, it's been not as great, you know, but we do what we can. Third Eye says, looks like we're back online. Yes, refresh, everyone. I'm going to do the same because I want to make sure everything is actually live. Um, 
Carl says, the capitalization of you and your usually trips me up. Miss Mara, I have to go back and capitalize before sending. <laughs> You'll get used to it. I mean, it's not normal, but I've integrated it into my own, like, vocabulary. So I'm used to capitalizing M a lot, so... Leather Hitman says, wow, the, four, the stream was four minutes behind. Refreshed. Yeah, um, I got disconnected for a second. So every time that does happen, always refresh, everybody. And if things don't seem to add up, like when you're chatting, make sure to refresh as well. Sanjay says, everything is alive. In your presence. Lovely. Uh... Third Eye says, what oils do you use for your skin? It looks so soft. <laughs> um, I use Aveeno lotion. Um, sometimes I use a uh, Argan oil, um, which is organic. Um, I also like scrub my, like scrub my face and gen I exfoliate my face. And then I also um, use face masks sometimes. I should do that more often, but I use face masks sometimes. Um, hmm. If I feel like puffy or anything, I will put like a cold like eye mask on my face as well. Nothing, nothing crazy. I do have um, like La Mer, which is like a really expensive um, from the Dead Sea kind of ointment that I use occasionally, but that's if I've like been out in the desert, you know, and I, I need extra repair. Sometimes I also use aloe, um, gel after I've been out to like, if I had a beach day, then I will use aloe on my face as well. Sanjay says, can we apply a lotion to your feet while we massage it during session? Yes, you can bring any oils that you want. Um, as long as it doesn't have that strong of a smell, you know, like I'm very particular with scents. That's why I also don't like people wearing cologne when they see me. I'm not a fan of that. I'd rather smell soap than cologne. Liam says, wait, so you are not... The BDSM Miss Santa that brings good or gifts to good boys? No, I'm not. <laughs> Occasionally, I will give uh, presents to, like, I'll give presents to really, really long term clients who really are generous with me. Like, I had a Chicago fetishist that would fly me out to him and like take me to michelin star dinners and give me a massage like like an actual masseuse he would pay for the the treatment so i actually gifted him like christmas presents something small but you know something thoughtful um and for his birthday i sent him a car like something as well card eddie says you are very beautiful thank you Third Eye says, what's the common complaint you get when you sub see you in person for the first time? Mm, I don't really get complaints. Oh, compliments. Oh my gosh, I read that wrong. Wow. Yeah, I'm going <laughs> to <I'm gonna> get off, <laughs> off stream soon because I think my eyes are a little tired. But what's the most common compliment you get when you sub see you in person for the first time? Um, that I look better in person <laughs> than I do in my photos. They say that uh, it's just different and that it's better, I guess. I don't know if that is a compliment because I'm like, oh, do I not take good photos then? <laughs> or do I not look good while I'm live streaming <laughs> or on video? I don't know. <laughs> um, maybe it's the angle. Who knows? Leather Hitman says, I tried keeping my beard, but with the master restrictions, I've gotten used to cleaning, clean shaven. Yep. Graham says the Mojave Desert is the hottest place I've ever been. I have yet to go to the Dead Valley, Death Valley, Dead Valley, <laughs> Death Valley. Um, and that one is the hottest. Uh, Leather Hitman, uh, here at least, obviously. Uh, Leather Hitman, oh, I think he's talking about YouTube giveaways. Um, 
I used to do giveaways for people who like followers, like on my Instagram, when I had my first Instagram, um, every milestone, like 5k, whatever, I would give like a set of photos, like the photos that I came out with for that month. I would mail people. Um, people used to buy my photos actually, but I don't really promote that that way anymore. Um, Eden, okay, back from lunch, yay. Uh, as for giveaways, I, hmm. I don't really have, like, I'm not sponsored by anybody that would actually hmm i'll think about that third eye her present is her presence <laughs> third eye says you need your glasses i'm wearing contacts that's even worse because <laughs> i see better with contacts <laughs> well actually i'm not sure if that's true anymore ever since covid i've been just wearing glasses all the time so maybe that's why my eyes aren't 100 percent i don't know um, Sanchez says, do you prefer subs with facial hair or clean shaven for your session? To each their own. I don't have a preference. I think, you know, whatever, as long as it's kept, you know, if you have a beard, like, and it's trim and you shower, <laughs> like, I don't have a problem with that at all. Uh, Liam says, wait, you said you would not hurt anyone. Does that mean you don't pierce skin? I do needle play. I don't do heavy you know, medical play, but I do, I do needles. Um, Carl, do you own or require a submissive to reply to your emails whilst in the present, in your presence, Ms. Mara? Do you, uh, dictate to them the responses? No, I'm in charge of all of my emails. Um, like, and I wouldn't tell a person how to respond to me. I would just say, like, capitalize Mistress and Mara, like, you know, be diligent about that. Graham, hey, Hitman, a Viking friend of mine had to get rid of his beard to wear a mask, another casualty of COVID. I gather that Death Valley had a record, had record temperatures this year. Um, I think the hottest it's, it was, was actually in, hmm, actually, I'm not sure, but it, I don't think it was this year. But it, it was pretty hot here where I am because I do live in a valley. But yeah, any, uh, let's see, Sanjay says, how often do you come to San Jose? When do you think you will be here next after your SF trip? Well, I'm in San Francisco like every three to four months or at least once or twice a year. Um, so anytime that I go up to San Francisco, I will be including San Jose, except for this trip, um, in future trips. Liam says, now I have to go though. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Third eye. Um, I think she uses her fingernails to pierce skin, hence her broken nail. <laughs> oh man, you can see that. Uh, I broke my, I broke this nail last night and it was, it's so, it sucks because all my other nails are like really good. But yeah. <laughs> um, any last questions though? Cause I'm, I'm gonna go. I have a few errands to run before it becomes dark here, but I've had a fantastic time speaking with all of you as usual. Graham says, hope the smoke from the wildfires hasn't caused too many problems for you. No, I'm actually okay. I'm, I'm at a good area that I was fortunate that I didn't have any fires around me. Moses, hey beautiful Miss Mara, love your vids, keep up the awesome work. Thank you. Please like them so that other people can see them as well. Um, my latest one, the travel vlog, is one of my favorite ones that I've ever done. So check that out if you haven't already. And if you did, give it a thumbs up. Sanjay, have a great Sunday. Thank you, you too. Leather Hitman, that's... I prefer visiting the south and the west coast of post to living there. Change of seasons is sometimes a blessing. Um, Eden, thanks for spending time with us. Great to chat with you and taking the time to answer our questions. Oh, my pleasure. Third eye, please keep safe, mistress, and to all of you too, because it's a crazy world out there. And hopefully these chats can help, you know, 
give a little, shed a little light onto your lives and during these dark times. <laughs> so thanks for watching everyone. Please like the video, even this one, you can like it and come back next week. Halloween. It's going to be Halloween and I'm going to be dressed up and we're going to have a nice party all together. So, Graham, many thanks for the enchanting company and entertaining chat, mistress. Have a good evening. You as well. Third eye next week. Yes. Make sure you're subscribed and hit the bell so it, it'll notify you through email. Leather Hitman, spooky Saturday. Definitely very spooky. Alrighty. Take care, everyone.